Whenever I encourage people to think for themselves, I usually get mixed reactions. Some people thank me for helping them finally see the religious abuse they're in, while a bunch of other people get crazy pissed off at me for challenging religious authority. And as for the second reaction, folks, that's called control. People who think that God can't handle sincere questions from his followers only make him out to be insecure. You see, if there is a God who loves you unconditionally, then not only would he not be offended by your questions, but I believe he welcomes them. Look, I'm just here to add to the conversation. I don't claim to have all the answers, but I am here to question some of the answers many of us have been given because some of us were sold a religion that just didn't work. We were told what to believe, how to think, and how to live. And it's about time we finally become honest with ourselves. Because once we stop lying to ourselves and others of what we supposedly believe, that's when true seeking begins. It becomes a path of total honesty where we say, I'm gonna follow the truth wherever it leads me, no matter what the cost. So don't feel guilty for asking the hard questions. They could save your life. A lot of people these days are accusing the Christian God, along with his followers, of being hateful, exclusive, judgmental, and violent. Now isn't it interesting that a particular version of God and his followers tend to look alike? Here's why. 